and welcome to Ramadan Health Guide. My name is Amna Taqi and I am an Associate Nutritionist. The aim of this program is for us to be able to provide you with all the information and knowledge and skills that you need to be able to not only improve your health in the month of Ramadan but also after the month of Ramadan. But during the month of Ramadan it's a great time to increase our awareness about these things and try and to start and make some of these changes within our everyday lives. Uh, the topic of today, the question of today is can everyone fast? Um, that question um, and the answer will depend on um, every person's situation. Generally, um, a healthy individual, a healthy adult um, can fast for the whole month of Ramadan and that will not implicate their health in a negative way. Um, sometimes uh, fasting actually has a beneficial impact on the health and that's why um, it's recommended for us to do. Um, however, there are certain situations or certain people or individuals that when they do fast, um, it might not always be the best for them. So the main examples are um, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, um, people with other health conditions such as diabetes or blood pressure, even um, elderly or certain children, um, fasting might not be suitable for all of these people. Um, so it's very important to seek um, medical advice or professional advice and see what your healthcare um, professional tells you to see if fasting is suitable for you, especially during times when the fasting hours are long and it's in the summer. Um, Pregnant women, for example, um, fasting is not uh, recommended during the first um, trimester of pregnancy because sometimes that could result or there are some evidence that suggests that um, children uh, might be, uh, what, or the fetus when they're born might be underweight, um, especially that women um, at that um, period of time are prone to things like um, vomiting and nausea. So fasting might not be a recommended for them, but if it's in the second or third trimester of pregnancy, fasting um, has been shown to be okay for them um, unless they have other medical conditions such as gestational diabetes. Again, refer back to your GP, uh, your doctor. Um, breastfeeding women, if you, if, you're, if you exclusively breastfeed your child, um, especially within the first um, zero to nine months of their lifespan, they're relying on um, milk as the main source of nourishment. Sometimes if you fast for long hours, when it's hot, you might be uh, dehydrated. That might cause the um, your milk supply not to be that great. Again, it's very individual, so see what your um, current situation is like. As for people with other health conditions like uh, diabetes or blood pressure, Consult your GP and see if you can move your medication around and if you can actually fast. Um, similar uh, concept, concept applies to the elderly um, and to children as well with other um, health conditions. If you are taking any um, vitamins, for example, if you are prescribed any um, vitamins or if you are taking any medication, just make sure that you alter that slightly before the month of Ramadan so you can take it at night. That would also help. But remember, always seek professional advice. Thank you for joining us today. And I hope now you know um, who can fast and uh, what is the best thing to do if you think you can't fast. Thank you for joining us and Asana.